My name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan, and today we're continuing our video series designed to educate and inform the public, so please subscribe to our channel. You know, right now, we're in the throes of the summer, and so the summer parenting time is the order of the day. That is what people are working with. It's different than the academic year school parenting time, and so we get involved in adapting to a different schedule. But before you know it, summer's gonna end, and now we're back to the academic schedule. We're back to the regular non-summer parenting time schedule. So how do we coordinate parenting time for the back to school situation? Well, you have to, you have to realize that there are certain things that have to be done in advance of starting school, which might involve the child. So if you've got, for example, one parent lives in Florida, and so during the summer, kids are in Florida, and now we got back to school coming, the parenting time in Florida should be coordinated to get the, the child back early enough so that appropriate preparations can be made to start school. Now, you have to be reasonable about it too. I've had parents come and say, well, my, my kid's out of state and school's starting, you know, August 28th, and I need in here by August 21st. And the question is, what for? Well, we have to, you know, buy school supplies. Who's stopping you? Go buy them. Well, I need the child here for that. No, you don't. You go, you FaceTime the child. Is this the notebook you need? You go buy them. In other words, the court has heard all the stories that are designed to chisel the other parent out of their parenting time, okay? So don't think for a minute that the, the court is going to be sympathetic to you, you know, wanting the child back, you know, in contravention to the agreement that we have that the kids are going to be with dad during this period of time. However, there are some things that may actually require the kid to be there, and, and, and in those circumstances, you may be limited. For example, the, the, the court may require a physical, you know, and, and, and the child is going to have to be here to come to that doctor's appointment. And maybe your doctor is on vacation and is only available during a small window period of time, so the child has to be back. Well, that's something that both parents need to cooperate on. Now. Uh, does it mean the child has to come back early? Maybe not. Maybe the other parent can bring the child and get a physical with what the child is. Maybe the school will accept a physical out of state in light of the circumstances. Uh, at least it pays to ask. So everybody knows these things in advance. It's very rare that these come up and are imposed upon the parents by surprise. Odds are what the school requires of the parents in advance of the first day of school is well known well known in advance and even if you don't know it you can probably pick up the phone and call someone because even though it's summer vacation guess what school administrators even teachers are sometimes working around the clock to prepare and there's somebody there that can say you know what we do require the child to get certain injections. We do, we want the injections to be up to date. Or we require, you know, in days past, they required COVID verification. Or we require some sort of physical in order to engage in sporting activities, and we're gonna require that. But they may accept one from out of state if you explain the situation. So all I'm saying is this, parents have to get together and coordinate those end of the summer things so that the child can transition back to school. And they have to do it using two things. They have to use a certain level of understanding, compassion. They have to try and coordinate this being sensitive to the parenting time of the other parent. And number two, they got to use their brains, okay? Don't try to say, I need my child here for school supplies. It's got to be here a week early. No, yeah, school supplies can be bought without the child being there. I mean, you can get together on the phone, do Zoom, pick stuff on Amazon. It'll show up at your house tomorrow. You don't need the kid to leave mom a week early to come to do that. Even shopping for back to school clothing, that can be done wherever the child is. In most cases, if your children are, are, are at all like some of the children of the parents that we represent, your input on the kind of clothing that they get for school really isn't going to be that significant anyway, okay? They want what they want and provide it meets school requirements. They don't need you for that purpose. They need you to write that check maybe, but they don't need you to be present. And therefore, we don't need to bring the kid back early. And the judge is going to know this. So let's not make an issue of it. Let's work together to have a smooth transition as we go back to school. If you have any questions about that, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.